You're right about that, Carrie. They're expecting 30,000 runners downtown on Saturday for the 20th running of the Rock and Roll Marathon. News Channel 5's Chris Conti will be among the runners and is at the Music City Center where the race kicked off today. Of the 30,000 people hitting the pavement on Saturday morning, every single one of them has a story to tell. They all have a goal they want to accomplish and they all have something that they're trying to achieve. It is a crazy weekend. If you take away the glitz and the glamour of the whole draft, what are you left with? On some level, pure human endurance. 10, 3, 6, 3. Then perhaps it makes sense that on the same weekend, football players will be learning their fate. You are from Tucson. Wow. Nancy Wall was handing out bib numbers to thousands of runners. Some of these runners don't train in the hilly terrain that we have here in Nashville. She's never run a marathon before, probably never will. I have two titanium knees. That stops it. But has the utmost respect for people like Epiphany Fox. Hi, 42 to 87. Epiphany is here for Memphis. She will be running her second 5K on Saturday morning, and she will be running it for him. I'm doing this in memory of my nephew. He was diagnosed with some malignant rhabdoid tumor to his right kidney. Jackson Bond was just a year old when cancer took his life. He was treated at St. Jude's free of cost to Epiphany's family which is why she's running this race for him. We lost him July 20th, 2018. 30,000 runners will descend on Nashville this weekend, all of them with their own reasons, own stories, just like Epiphany. I spell his name as I run, um, so probably thinking about him the whole time. Gonna run like he's waiting for me at the finish line. On Nashville's busiest weekend of the year, it's not just football players who are being pushed to the limits. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. There are additional road closures around town because of the marathon. We've listed those on our website right now, and you can catch our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the marathon right here on News Channel 5 Saturday morning.